So I'm here on the high street of Creswell, surrounded by businesses, housing, and even a school. But have you ever wondered how and why these developments take place? And do you think that you could help develop the village's growth plans? Well, now is your chance. Bolsover District Council has launched a new, innovative form of public consultation that's designed to help you imagine your ideal growth proposals for the village. Now, traditionally, decisions about growth and plans for growth are made by professionals such as developers, architects, planners, and economists. And the people who live in a place are invited to comment at the final stages of the proposals. The council think it would be better if the people who lived in a place had a chance to have a say earlier. Imagine what growth could look like and tell them what they think should be included. In June 2022, people living and working in Creswell commented upon the Creswell Growth Plan. And the council now wants to build upon this by engaging with people about planning matters using this master planning interactive tool. So what are you waiting for? Let's log on and go and have a play. So when you start, you'll see a part of Cresswell highlighted for you. Now that's just basically a bit of a blank canvas for you to get your ideas down on. All you need to do then is pick what you want to see in the master playing tool. And you can do that by icons across the bottom of the screen. Okay, so at the bottom, we've got community, homes and work, green space, power and waste, and roads. Let's choose homes and work first. Oh look, that's given me options of a variety of home types, as well as a primary school, skills college, and offices and workspaces. Perhaps your New Year's resolution is to get a new job closer to home. So let's say that any future growth in Creswell should have new attractive offices and workspaces. So I've put the offices and workspaces on my map, and that's caused a pop-up to appear. It's telling me well done for putting my first item on the map and that I should keep an eye on the virtual money box at the top of the screen. So let's see what else I can include in my master plan. Okay, a new school seems like a good idea, so let's click on that. And a new skills college sounds interesting too, so let's click on that as well. Okay, so that's put them either on my map or outside of my map. So let's zoom in a bit so I can move them around to where I think they should go. And you can just drag and move them as you wish. Obviously, we didn't want the school on top of the offices. That wouldn't work out well. So then you can just start building how you think Creswell should look. So while doing this, I noticed that my virtual money box flashed when I added those new things. So let's have a look at what's going on there by clicking on it. OK, that's saying I've spent some money on those facilities and that I need to generate more income to get my master plan balanced and suggest more homes would help generate more income. OK, so we need to generate some more income. So let's see about adding some housing and uh, add that to our Creswell plan. So you could add eco homes or a bit of market housing, even social housing as well. So we can then just start to move that around again, put that where we want them to go and bring in a bit of income. So we could have housing next to offices, we can have housing next to schools, whatever works. But as you can see, the map is slowly coming together. Okay, so I've added plenty of housing and, and now that has put me back in credit. So we can go to my money box balance at the top and it tells me that I'm in credit, which is good. So I have more money to spend on services and infrastructure. So now you can click this X and you can go back to anything across the bottom here and spend a bit more money. Who doesn't like to go shopping? Okay, so that's got me back into balance and it's saying that I've been successful. So now I just need to submit this master plan off to the council. So I go to the top left corner, click submit, gives me congratulations and says I've created a new part of town with a balanced budget. And so now I just submit it. And from there, all I need to do is add my contact details so that the council can contact me on what happens next. And talking about what happens next, the council will now be considering all of the feedback it receives and sending out any potential options of how any growth in the village could require further potential community involvement. So why not get involved? If you live or work in the area, you can have your say in how Cresswell looks in the future. And the tool is really simple to use. 